Yeşil şaşma abi yeşil kira bak. Kim ekşi? Koş yakap boy. Come back. Why are you running away? I want to show you love and you run away from me. Nagi. That is an everyday occurrence. Yeah, here all over my house. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Oh, you got boy. Yes, guys. This dog's name is Blackie. Why do I got so much hair in my mouth because of that? Nagi. Come here. Oh, you got boy. Oh, you got boy. I farted. You ain't just got boy. Come here, boy. Come here. You're your good boy. Who's your good boy? Yes, you are. You are such a good boy. Me. Right now we're waiting for Mike's parents. Uh, they're taking like five years just to uh, get out of the, the, the driveway. Hello. Uh -huh. Dime. To get a longhorn? Eh? Longhorn. No, I know. Ahora I know. ¿Qué tú quieres comer? Pues. ¿Quieres uh, Las Vegas? Las Vegas? Oh my God. Vamos a otro lugar viejo. ¿Dónde? Algo diferente. Yo, yo estoy pagando. Ni digo que yo estamos pagando. Relájate. Bueno, ¿dónde? Está todo en Facebook. Ok. Se pueden decir. Se pueden decidir dónde. Vamos a ir a la de Southwest. Ok. 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 
Jesus, I don't even know where I'm at anymore. <laughs> I'm just following them, and I'm like, okay, well, where are we going? Well, we're going to Pembroke. Oh, what, are, right. what are the chances we're not following the red Corolla? That would be funny <laughs> as hell. Yeah, no, we're going to we're going to Longhorn. There's Longhorn. Right yeah. I think they're going to Cuba, 1957. No, they're going to Longhorn. Nope. Yeah, they're going to Longhorn for sure. All right, guys, stay tuned. We will be right back in a second. Oh, just like that, I am full like a motherfucker. Bro, full is an understatement. Like, I am far beyond full right now. My stomach, if I take anything else, it's unlocked, I think. I think I'm going to poop it out, either from both ends. <laughs> and that's not a pretty sight. <sighs> Going back to Lexi. I did! Hold on. Going back to Lexi. But, on the bright side, it is fucking beautiful outside. It is amazing outside. It needs to stay like this forever. I like it when it gets that cold though. Here, yeah, bro. Thank you again. Yeah. Jenny, was that you? Girl, at least say excuse me next time. Oh, well, give a warning. Excuse like, squeeze me. Excuse me. <laughs> So we're gonna go take a look at a house, guys, that potentially my parents might end up wanting to buy, which is near this area in Pembroke Pines. It's this actually, a, it's actually from from what your dad told me, it's it's the it's. Oh, by the way, that has a beautiful uh, SC three hundred right there. Yeah, I saw. Uh, that. From from what your dad told me, it's. Uh, we're, uh, sorry. From what your dad told me, <laughs> it's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is in, in the Pembroke Pines area, and from where, where he told me it is, it's actually really close to my neighborhood. Like, it's not in my neighborhood per se, but it's in the it's in the neighborhood next to my neighborhood. Yes. Which, that's actually really close. Yes. That means that we'll be close. It's cool. Yes. That means if I, if I wanted to, I could actually walk to your place. Yeah, right? <laughs> Instead of actually having to go all the way down there. It's easier, man. Ten times easier. But knowing me, I'll still be a lazy fucking drive. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we are all lazy asses in this place, man. In this car, there's nothing but... In this car. In this country. In this... Well, yeah. 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 But primarily in this car, too. True. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where are we going? Oh, man. Jesus. See, now, a burp and a fart at the same time. I call it a bark. Both out the basement and out the attic. Exactly. Would it be a furp? Hmm. A furping bark. A furping bark. <laughs> I like it. A furping bark. I love it. By the way, we copyright that, guys. That's ours. It's ours. It's part of Limit Break Overdrive, so screw you guys. I mean, I'm sorry. I love you guys. We do. We do. Final Fantasy with me has always stuck by me from thick and thin. It's always been there for me um, when I was a little kid. I remember when I grew up with it, I first came out with the first Nintendo Final Fantasy. Again, I'm coming from a family that was poor. Um, the Nintendo pretty much was given to me as a kid because I had no money. My parents couldn't afford it. Um, so somebody introduced me to this one video game and it was so cool because all I remember was playing as either the red mage, the black mage, the healer, and the per and the, the hero of light which was the person with the sword. I was so intrigued by it that it's like I couldn't put it down and the more that I got into the story it just became even better. The moment that I beat that game I asked myself was there something else? It was Final Fantasy 2 and Final Fantasy 3. Granted, at the time, I didn't have the money for a Super Nintendo because my father and my mother were struggling, you know, due to the circumstances that, you know, we, were, we weren't rich, we were poor. We lived in a very, in a very ghetto community, you know, I, we all had to manage, my parents had to manage, you know, one day, I guess they were doing very well for themselves. My dad ended up buying me a Super Nintendo and he bought me that game, Final Fantasy II. And he also bought me The Lion King. And I remember he bought me Toy Story at one point as well. The crazy thing about it, it didn't last so long. Because I got into the game. The game was amazing. 
but what ended up happening was that they ended up robbing us. Um, so I lost pretty much everything. I lost my TV, I lost my video games, I lost everything. Uh, it hurt me for quite some time because I had nothing to play with. And again, as I mentioned before, coming from a poor family, you really can't afford much. Now, the third time around, my dad was able, you know, they managed to like scrubble all some money together because they felt very bad for us because we were doing so good in school. My dad said, you know what, we're going to get them a, another Super Nintendo. And he managed to do so. Um, he got it for me and I personally worked. I remember I was 13 years old at the time. I know it was like 12 or 11 or something like that. I ended up buying my video games. You know, I was clearly trying to do my collection, redo everything. And I remember when I was in the fourth or fifth grade, I think it was the fifth grade. Um, I remember it clear as day to this day. I got out of school and my bus driver tells me, hey, you gotta get home really quick, something happened. And I was like, what happened, you know? And I pass by my house, I see, amb not an ambulance, I see the, the news reporter, I see uh, the firefighters, and I see my dad outside. I'm like, what's going on over here? And then I look at my house and it looks like there's a lot of black stuff on the ceiling. It looks like there's smoke coming out. And I asked my dad, what happened? My house caught on fire. That day, I lost everything. We lost everything, 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 everything. Everything that we owned our whole entire life was gone. We had no clothes. We had nothing. Everything burned. Um, after that, we had to stay in a motel for about three months until we could find a house. And I remember every single night having to come back to the same motel. Even though when you're poor, going to a motel with pool with a pool was like living as if you were in a mansion, man. Um, we came across this house where I currently live at right now. We, you know, it took us three months to find this house and I was still living in a motel while going to school. We moved into this new house, which this house is amazing. It's treated us well. It's very expensive though. Um, we managed, I managed to get a job. Uh, I still continued my job at the supermarket place. At that supermarket place, I literally rode my bike. It was very far to get there. It sounds very relatively close, but it really was pretty far. Um, God, I remember taking my bike every single time to get there and then my mom would either try to pick me up or if not, I would have to ride my bike back. And I did it every day and I went to school every day up until I found a job at Walgreens, which I ended up doing that. And this is where the story begins of how I created my, you know, my collection. I began collecting Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy 1, Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy 3. I was going by the order that I had presumed it, you know, to start collecting. But I originally started with Final Fantasy 8, I'm lying. It was Final Fantasy 8. And then that's when I was inspired to pick up every other Final Fantasy back again. Because I forgot, I didn't even know about Final Fantasy 8 at the time. I picked it up and I was like, yo, this game looks really cool. But I remember, then afterwards I played Final Fantasy 7. And then I'm like, yo, I gotta get back into these games again. So I started collecting every single one. I remember I had up until like 9. And then they all got stolen from me. And I said to myself, man, this is getting insane. This is getting out of hand. Like, I can't believe all this got stolen from me. And I said to myself, you know what? This time, I'm going to do it again. But this time, I'm going to be more careful. And I did. Up to this point, the collection that you've seen has gone through many different trials because I have not been able to keep a decent collection Due to the circumstances, you know, the circumstances and the unfortunate events that I've gone through uh, to collect these beautiful video games. But now they're all in my room, sealed. They're kept in a cabinet and a closet, some, per se. And, you know, I've been, I've been slowly regaining and slowly collecting. You know, there have been a, quite a few people that have been helping me regain this collection. And there are some that are adding to it. And I thank them for it as well. Like Abby, he's helped me out, Roland, Gio, you know, I have to thank these people. And they've, because of them, like my collection continues growing. I even myself have to thank myself because if it wasn't for me purchasing everything that I purchased, then I wouldn't have what I have up to this point. But Final Fantasy has a special place in my heart, primarily for the reason was when I was younger, um, my grandma was a heavy influence in my life. 
Um, despite me not being the best person and not being the best character, um, she always stood by me, even in my most difficult state of, you know, states. Um, and I remember she used to watch me play every single Final Fantasy because I used to play it in her room. I would play either the one on the Super Nintendo, I would play the one on PlayStation, and she would always watch me. Like, she didn't understand what was going on. That's the crazy part. She never understood what was going on. She couldn't read it. She couldn't understand it. But she would look at it. And she would point. And she's like, oh, you won. You know, she would say things like that. And she's like, oh, okay. Hey, so what is that? And, I'm, you know, I would tell her what it is. And, you know, we would, ha we would bond, you know. And those are, like, one of the main reasons why Final Fantasy for me, like, it sticks close to my heart. You know, it, it has memories. It has, it has things that no other game you know can offer and I feel like it's 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 a game that just speaks for itself it's it's a game that isn't like any other video game out there you know it's it's Final Fantasy guys you know and to this day it still is very, it stays very close to me and that's why every single time when they add a new one I'm always the first one to get it and you see how crazy I am about it all right we are on the turnpike going towards Mike's place uh, let's see what we can find. See if anybody wants to be brave enough to actually race me in my IS-250. Maybe another IS-250. <laughs> he wants to race an IS-250. I don't know. Let's see what ends up happening. Maybe if we start like swaying around, people might actually start getting a little bit more interested and see what could happen. Really? 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 You can go to 7-Eleven. Yeah, we could just go here and get it. Okay. Anyways, guys, that's all for the video tonight. Yeah. If you guys like what you saw, hit that like button and please subscribe. And in the meantime, keep on revving, guys. <laughs>